Jesus. Oh, that's a hit. I think I've got something. No, no. Look at the colour of the water. It's like chocolate. Oh, that's a fish on. Oh, there he is, there he is. doing a bit of track maintenance uh, some of the bushes are getting a little bit overgrown getting my fishing rod caught as I walk down the beach so I'm gonna do some trimming Two, I think. That's it. Battery's dead. Bugger, you don't get too long out of them, do you? Just one more job down here I want to do. Side here, just need a bit of a trim. That's it, that's good enough. That's good for another 12 months. Look at all this room. Much better track. <laughs> this right here was the problem area. Look how good it is now. Much better. I was getting my reels um, hooked up on the branches. Much better. Uh, a little bit whitewashy. Not too bad. Alright 
G'day guys, welcome to the video. We've got a dropping tide, not my favourite. Um, it was low tide about 4 o'clock this morning. 4.30, something like that. But um, And what have we got now? 8 o'clock now, so yeah, dropping tide. So. It's a bit whitewashy, it's not, not too bad though. I maybe come down, I needed to uh, dump the last two carcasses in there, but I bought two, I bought just the big rod, because um, I'm going to put a couple of those, um, or at least one of those Taylor uh, baits that I salted down the other day, so I've got one of those on, I'll put on one of the droppers, and I've got some fresh frozen pilchards, not salted, just fresh, so I, I don't think I've ever used them down on the beach here. But I only brought two or three down with me. I've got a little ice pack, so they should be okay for the short time, but usually that's the problem with them. They just go mushy. So anyway, let's get a couple of baits in. I'll stay fairly high. That way that keeps the line out of the water as much as possible. Actually, I'll get these carcasses in now just to get the scent going in the water. But, that'll do. Yeah, that'll start wafting in there. That'll bring them around. Look out, the birds are here, they've spotted it. <laughs> that doesn't take them long, does it? Cup of tea. These are the Taylor fillets, so I'm going to put a nice one like that out. And a nice pilly. Uh, sinker. Yeah, I'll put the big one out. Could be a bit of a drift off to the right. Maybe. Kind of looks like it. can do I think we'll put the pilchard up top and we'll put the um, tailor filler down here only three I hooked this bottom one I probably should have gone a bit bigger but the way I see it big fish still take small hooks some of my biggest gummies are caught on tiny little bloody 1-0 hooks. Well this hook's not real big but it's a 4-0 circle hook. Get that out there. Yeah, so even the carcasses have drifted off to the right, so that will definitely indicate. Actually, I might go and get it and throw it to my left. I don't want the stuff drifting away from me. I'll just throw it up here, just on the water's edge. So it just gets a, a lick of water every every once in a while. Yeah, maybe just here. Yeah, it's, still, yeah, it's a bit rough out there, but. Um, get down here I want to launch it out hopefully I can get to the other side of the sandbar so I wait till this wave recedes I'll get right down here like this uh, 
Oh, not a hope in hell. Right in the middle of it, actually. <laughs> oh, well, so there we go. Might need a whole bottom, actually. Maybe I should have just left it in here close. That's the sinker rolling. Now nah, I'm going to bring that in and put the um, breakaway sinker on. Oh, that's a hit. <laughs> Is that something on? I think I've got something. No, no. Something definitely had a whack at one of those. Pilchard's gone. slack already it mightn't be holding either I really don't like these conditions look at the color of the water it's like chocolate oh that's a fish on that's a fish on. Oh, it's a heavy fish too. What's it doing? Oh, it's a salmon. He's just jumped out of the water. He must be coming towards me now. Oh, there he is, there he is. Oh. <laughs> come on, come on. He's coming along. Oh, oh, he's just spat it right there. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay. I took my time with him, I could have got him in actually the first time he came out of the water. I let him go back in and he spat the bloody hook. Um, it's not a bad thing really, I probably wouldn't have kept him. I've still got half of the other salmon and I just got a letter from the hospital so I've got to go to PK's um, either tomorrow or the day after. I've got another hospital visit coming up. So I'm going to be gone until after Easter now. So um, I'm going to call this a, a, a bit of a failed session and I'm going to go up and cook up the rest of that other salmon. I've got a nice one in mind. Who's going to get it first? Seagulls. In comes the big one. It's just half a squid head. Yeah, he got it. Still a bit frozen for him. Anyway, I'm out of here. There seems to be an ongoing debate with pizza. I'm making a pizza, by the way. Um, I've got those salmon fillets. Um, an ongoing debate with the cheese on a pizza. Where should it go? Um, I've always known it to be on top of everything. But a few people recently have told me, no, no, it's got to go at the bottom. You put your tomato base on. So your tomato base goes on. And then the cheese. And then everything on top of that. 
Well, to me that doesn't make sense. You've got to have the cheese on top so it melts down all through all of the ingredients so everything gets a cheese coating. It makes sense. It's how it's always been done. Well, as far as I'm concerned anyway, that's all I can remember. But anyway, I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. So I'm going to put the cheese on now, straight on the tomato sauce. Just feels wrong. <laughs> anyway, we'll finish it up. We'll see how it goes. Now there's our fish. I've just fried off the um, salmon fillets. So I'm just gonna Now, I thought of putting ham on there with it too. I might just, I don't have shredded ham, I've just got sliced ham, but I think I might just shred that up and just put a couple of, not a lot, but just a little bit of ham. I think it will complement the fish on a pizza. So let's do that. put strips okay. that's right mango See now it causes me pain not putting cheese on top because normally this is where you put the cheese all over it. <laughs> but as an experiment, I'm gonna leave it like this. I will put some seasoning on it though. Pepper. And I've restocked Sriracha. It's a different brand. We'll see how it goes. I put this seal on top. All right, in the oven. Mm. 
And that's the other thing. The cheese is a good indicator because when you get a nice colour on the cheese, you know your pizza's done. There's none of that here. I mean, some of the onion bits have charred up a little bit, but it um, just doesn't look the same. Anyway, it's all in the taste, I guess. that cool for a minute. That looks really hot. I think that one looks the most attractive one. Yeah, so it looks all right. Taste test. Got my bit of mango. If the cheese was on top, that would not have happened. <laughs> I mean, it tastes good. There's no doubt about it. It was always going to taste good. But it would be better with the cheese on top. There's absolutely no doubt about it. Tastes very good, actually. Australian salmon, ham, and mango. Or oh, onions on there, too. That's not a bad combo. Wow. Mm. Wow. That's a good pizza. All right, guys, I'm going to plate this up and um, go and pig out on it. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. <music>